welcome back to the channel where I wore gaming. First time here, like and subscribe. I finally got a PlayStation 5. The search is over. And I'll tell you, the excitement that I've been missing, the feeling that I used to get from buying PlayStations or Xboxes or consoles in general at launch, getting them, opening them up, I've been missing that. And when I got the PlayStation 5, I've seen them before online. I've actually even seen them in stores, but nothing can prepare you for when you open it up, you have it in your hands, it screams next generation, it screams console. It's definitely not skewing towards being a PC in a box, and I get it, it basically is. Most consoles are, every console is. But the excitement that I felt opening this up is something that I've been looking for for a while. And let me tell you about the DualSense controller. It's absolutely a game changer. I know a lot of people have been talking about it. Maybe it's a gimmick, maybe it isn't. But I promise you, this controller is the absolute best controller, period. There isn't anything better than it. For a long time, they've been playing catch up with Xbox and their controller. They've surpassed Xbox. This controller is fantastic. When you feel it, there's nothing like it. And the haptic feedback in those triggers is absolutely incredible. Now, setting up the system was pretty easy. And I'll be honest, I really like the brand new UI. At first, you're sort of sitting there trying to figure it out. You're used to the old UI, but it feels new. It feels like you're moving forward. And within 15 minutes, I figured out where everything is. Some of the stuff is not as intuitive as it could be. Maybe it should be, but I do like the way each game gets its own tile. You know, you could set a wallpaper in the past to your user interface, and that was what you would look at. But each game takes up the entirety of the screen. Something else that's incredibly cool that I did not know, the UI is 4K with HDR. So when you're switching from the UI to a game, for instance, on the Xbox, when you switch from the UI to a game, the TV sort of flickers, goes into HDR mode, goes into 4K mode because the UI isn't 4K or HDR. But on the PlayStation 5, it is. So everything is seamless from the UI to selecting a game right into it. There's no stuttering. There's no jarring feeling going from the UI to a game. It's so smooth. I'm loving the system. The SSD, I'm noticing it is incredibly fast. I downloaded Ratchet and Clank. The game is incredible, absolutely incredible. I've got Control, the PS5 edition. I've got Returnal, which I hope they add save points to this game because I'm gonna be pulling my hair out of my head. I am absolutely in love with the system. So again, that feeling that's been missing, I haven't really gotten it. I purchased an Xbox Series S, you know, it's a better system than the systems that I've had in the past from Xbox, but I haven't felt that newness, that switch from old to new. And I'm feeling it with the PlayStation 5. I instantly felt it as soon as I looked at the system. It is gigantic. It's so bold and, and in your face that you can't help but feel like this is something new. And honestly, Ratchet and Clank and Returnal, believe it or not, I'm looking at Returnal, these games graphically are amazing. It definitely feels like I moved from one generation to the next, let alone what they're going to do in the future with their first party. I downloaded Ghost of Tsushima. Let me tell you, on the PlayStation 5, it's unbelievable the way that game looks. I mean, it looks like a painting in motion. It is so smooth and so beautiful. I want to go back and just continue the story with the DLC that's coming. And I can't stress enough, as soon as you try the controller, as soon as you hold it in your hand, you know that they spent a ton of time cultivating this and getting it just right because it is absolutely, positively, hands down, the best controller this generation so far. Microsoft may need to put some haptic feedback in a brand new controller and redesign their controller to catch up because they definitely need to. So all in all, I am just so impressed with the system. Everything's been pretty smooth for me. Again, the UI is different. It takes some time to get used to, but that's what I like about it. It's a new system, a new experience. 
I like the fact that the games are front and center. The store is baked right into the UI. There's no waiting, there's no loading. It's just a great experience, and the games that I've tried so far feel like a new generation. If you have a PlayStation 5, let me know in the comments section what you think about it. Thanks for watching this video. Having a great time playing Ratchet & Clank. It is absolutely the best looking game I've seen so far ever this generation, but I'm sure they'll top it going forward. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.